Hi guys, in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a keratin smoothing treatment using Goldwell Kerasilk on my very fine, thin hair. So you can see because I used to cut my own hair at home because of quarantine, I've had wings in the back. The layers are driving me crazy. So you can see those flips that are happening. I'm trying to get them to smooth out. My hair is very frizzy. This is the final result. So this is what my hair is gonna look like after the treatment. The wings are completely gone. I'm so excited to show you how I do this. Step one is to shampoo the hair using the Carousel Control Shampoo. This is a purifying or clarifying shampoo twice. And this is the Intense Control uh, smoothing and shaping duo. So generally what you want to do is you want to choose the intensity that you are going to be doing. I am going to go with the medium. You can do intense for really coarse hair, but my hair is really fine. So I grabbed a bowl and a scale and a brush. And for short hair, they recommend to do 20 mils. Um, I felt like it was a little bit too much for me, so I should have really done 10. The ratio of mixture is one to one. So the first thing you want to do is grab the keratin shape. If you are a professional, this is how you would do it. You would do ratio one to one and grab the shape and the smooth. And you can also customize it to your client. So you can do one part medium, one part intense, or two parts intense or two parts medium. But where my hair is fine, I'm just gonna go with the medium, mix it really, really well, and then start applying. I'm starting to apply at the nape of the neck, which is the part that has the most density for me, for my hair. And I'm just using the brush and making sure that the hair is completely saturated. And then I'm using a little comb to make sure that everything is completely smooth and saturated and all my hair has the product in it. So I move around the round of the head and I make sure everything is combed through and I just move section by section and comb as I go. The product smells really good. It smells fruity and so I don't mind the smell at all and my hair is pretty porous which means that it absorbs whatever I put on it really quickly so it's okay to saturate the hair, but generally if I was working on a client, I wouldn't saturate the hair so much because it would be dripping. Uh, it really depends on the porosity of the hair. If the hair is very porous, you might wanna add a little bit more product and just keep combing. And I think that's the trick when it comes to this keratin treatment. I've only done it on clients who have really coarse hair or very curly hair. And the trick is to just keep combing the product and keep combing and keep combing and keep combing until it is completely saturated. And then we wait 15 minutes and start to blow dry. At this point, the product has already absorbed into the hair, so it actually feels a little bit crunchy and it feels a little bit sticky as I'm blow drying it. I'm using a round brush, but I found out later that I could have used just a paddle brush because my hair is so fine. It actually feels really strong as I'm blow drying it. If you can see how shiny my hair is, it's really, really amazing. Now time to flat iron the hair. I'm gonna put it at 380 because it suggests not to go under 350 degrees. Now the flat ironing is what's going to seal the product into the hair. So there's a specific type of molecule that Goldwell Kerasilk has that is meant to smooth out the hair and uh, remove all frizz. So the flat ironing is what pushes that molecule into the hair and really seals it in. So they suggest to go th over the hair up to seven passes. And that's exactly what I do. I don't wanna do any less than seven passes because I might as well just do seven. It eventually does wash out of the hair as time goes on. I'm going through and I'm being super, super careful and I'm combing as I'm doing every single strand because especially those wings have to go. Uh, and I can feel my hair feeling really, really strong as I'm touching it. It's actually really amazing. I did not expect this at all as I was doing my hair because it's so fine. And as I'm coming around the front where my hair is most fragile and tends to break off, it actually feels really strong. Like, look at this. It feels strong. It's looking really healthy. I notice that the color is changing a little bit too. So that's another little side effect, but it's not a bad thing. It actually makes the hair color super vibrant. So I'm coming around the top and this is the most fragile part of my hair, but it feels so good and so strong and uh, it's really nice. I just do a couple more of passes and then I shampoo 
you do just one shampoo and it's time to apply the serum that comes with the treatment. This serum is meant to just basically take away the smell because it does smell a little bit like chemicals. Um, another thing I wanted to say is like there were no fumes when I was flat ironing it. If you apply too much product, it can cause a lot of fumes and it can give you a headache. So I'm just going to rough dry my hair just to reveal the final result and see what I can get without uh, using a round brush. And it feels so strong, you guys, and so amazing and so smooth and so not frizzy. And this is my genuine reaction. That's it. That's all I have to do. It's just rough dry. I know I'm supposed to be doing a voiceover, but this is amazing. The color is a little bit different. It actually makes it feel so soft and so healthy. Like my hair feels amazing. And not one flip. Look at this, no flips. Now I can grow this out for sure. This is going to be a nice grow out. So you can see how amazed I am by the ends. You can see how the ends are not as brittle as they were from when I first started the video. They were frizzy. They always tend to break because my hair at the top, I suspect I have thyroid. The ends just tends to be so brittle and it's just so amazing. Now the wings are gone and I still have volume and I can still style my hair. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if I helped you. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what else you would like to see and leave some comments. See you soon, bye.